Hey guys, I'm in with Pro Beats and today I want to show you the best settings for mixing with Studio One. And I want to go over my favorite settings that you need to know for a better workflow. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, let's get right into it. The first thing that I want to show you is the song setup page, song, song setup. And I want to talk to you for a bit about the settings that I'm using. This is my starting point. This is my 2020 mixing template. As far as sample rate goes, I'm using 44.1. For resolution, I stick with 24 bits. You can go up to 32. And one of the important settings that I like keeping disabled is stretch audio files to song tempo. I do this because most of the time, the artist that send the, the files to me doesn't have the information about the BPM of the song. So I have to import the files then I have to find the BPM so everything is on time and in sync. If you have this enabled and the WAV file contains BPM information inside them, then when you change the tempo, the WAV files will get longer or shorter, faster or slower. And that's a really bad thing because that changes the entire song. This is it for the song setup page. Now let's move to the options let's start with the general when studio one starts i like to do nothing you can set it to create a new song if you are an artist if you are a beat maker and you just want to be ready to go when you're opening up studio one appearance whatever you like location this is the important one auto save i have it on five minutes i like to be safe but Control s on windows is something that's embedded in my dna already with this you get a backup in case the project gets corrupted on the vst plugins tab scan at startup enabled because i don't want to enable disable this option every time i install a new plugin a new demo i just want to install it so the one scans it and I can use it. Audio setup, here you can change the driver that Studio One uses. I use a Mediface driver for the RME UFX Plus. The block size depends on your system on how powerful your CPU is. For mixing, sometimes it's better to go even higher on the block size. That way you can help the CPU deal with more plugins if you have like a big, big project. Processing, dropout protection, minimum. Process precision single that's what i use on the advanced tab let's start with the editing here we have a few important settings that really helps me with my workflow for example i don't like having the event names on the event this is how it looks with that option disabled you can see that i have the name of the file right on top of the event when you have like a really big project things can get a bit cluttered especially when you're using like the overview i just don't like how it looks i don't care for that information and you can just enable don't show even name and now everything looks a bit cleaner inside the arranger translucent events don't like it i like having the events solid colorized track controls unfortunately i don't like that much the colors in size to the one and that's why i prefer the track controls to be gray but if you like it you can have it colorized that's it for the editing section with the automation i like to have the automation follow event that's one really important setting the other one is automatically create automation tracks for channels i get this question a lot why don't i have all my tracks inside the ranger it's probably because of this setting not being enabled let's start with the automation follow event if we have a volume automation when we duplicate the event i want that automation to follow the event i have the same automation now i want to disable this option go to the mixer add a bus effect and as you can see i don't have that bus channel on the ranger page and that for me when mixing it's a no-go i want to have all my tracks on the ranger page to create the track in the ranger right click edit automation volume and now it's here but this is a really time consuming thing to do 
now if we add like a bus channel you already see that it's there that's how I have all my buses set up all my effects all my sands I want the sands in the Ranger because I want to be able to just grab a knob and automate it and show it in the Ranger automate this decay right and I have it on the Ranger page that simple on the audio tab one important thing that you should enable is this first option the play overlaps you also have this when you start a new song with this option disabled things can get really bad really fast and i will show you why for example when you have multiple verse takes let's say that this is verse one and we have a punch in here verse one punch with that disabled when i move the audio here listen what happens you cannot play overlapping audio events sometimes i get like verse one verse two on separate tracks but the waveforms are from start to finish of the song i just like to drag and drop on one single track so i have the full verses on a single audio track that's not possible if you don't have that option enabled it's for new tracks if i add other new tracks we should have the overlapping with white now it doesn't matter if we have overlaps the audio will play from both events the console tab enable undo this allows you to have the undo function on the faders on the pan parts colorized channel strip i don't use it because like i said i don't like the colors inside studio one maybe you do you can use it or not that's your choice another option that i like to have on is the link expand collapse of folder tracks when show and hide without it things can look like this it's just not mirroring what's happening in the ranger view i like to have the option when i open up like a folder in the console to have the same folder opening up in the arranging view so these are the settings that i use for a better workflow i think studio one is pretty versatile when it comes to options for configuring it these are the settings that work for me and that i've built over the years i hope that you enjoyed this video i'm really sorry for the one week break it was my birthday i wanted to just chill out for a bit from now on i will make sure that i will have some video up front so i can take time off without pausing the content thanks for the support if you enjoyed the video please subscribe hit the like button don't forget to follow me on instagram see you guys really really soon cheers